If you go the extra mile as a security researcher, you will find unique subdomains faster than other researchers. I will briefly describe two techniques that most researchers will not do because they are not as convenient as a one-liner or because they might require some form of premium. Number one, subfinder. This is very popular among researchers uh, and I use it myself as part of a larger recon script that I use and I keep expanding. I can safely assume that more than 90% of those using subfinder use it out of the box without any modifications. This will very likely yield you the results uh, it yields everyone else. However, one of the extra miles you can walk is to configure API keys with its uh, supported services. You can edit the file config.yaml with uh, the API keys you get from GitHub, Shodan, Spice, Chaos, Recon Dev and others. If you need to pay for a subscription to get the API keys like for Spice and Shodan and Recon Dev, it's very much likely you will uncover subdomains that free tools can't get you. I am personally an enthusiast of premiums because uh, I know that more often than not a lot of hard work has been put up to create those services. Whereas a lot of free stuff as well, uh, as its name implies, cheap. Of course, not all premiums are created equal either. For example, I've paid for plural site, Linda, LinkedIn Learning and Pact, and I'm actually very disappointed by these platforms. On the other hand, as I'm deepening my math skills currently, there are two big names uh, when it comes to studying math, and these are Khan Academy and Brilliant.org. Khan is free, built with a lot of passion, and it's a nice platform, but boy oh boy, Brilliant uh, takes things to the next level when it comes to the depth of knowledge, coverage of math fields, and a hands-on approach. I choose to pay for Brilliant. Okay, now back to the main thread. For how to set up API keys with Subfinder, there's a link uh, to their uh, repo below. Number two, I owe tremendous credit uh, to Codingo for this one, so thanks buddy. This is technically a non-paid approach, but it's not convenient or out of the box. I'm talking about Rapid7's project Sonar, which conducts internet-wide scans and publish their results every so often. For example, you can download their forward DNS results for free, which are public and uh, published uh, once a month uh, or so. Or you can sign up for a researcher account and get access to fresher, more up-to-date scan results. Now, this is where you go the extra mile and have advantage over other researchers, as these scans can be as fresh as one to seven days old. And unless you scan the entire internet yourself, I don't see how you can beat that, at least not without huge uh, investments. So you can sign up for a researcher account, then if they approve you, for subdomain enumeration, you will download the latest fdns.any.json.gz archive. This is a 30 plus GB file, and this is another hurdle most researchers don't want to put up with. But not you, you are perseverant. Once you have the file downloaded, uh, you can parse it for the subdomains you want. There are multiple ways to do this, and one of them is very convenient, and it does not even require unpacking the archive. And a big shout out to Jman0 for providing this uh, ultra-fast FDNS tool which uh, was written in Go. For example, I can parse the entire archive in little over an hour with 10,000 Go routines. Uh, you can think of them as concurrent threads. I might be working on a tool like this in the future with the extra feature of checking and downloading the latest archive, parsing it, and computing the differences in results from previous runs. Remember, in a world where most use just about the same tools, going deep versus wide will yield non-duplicates.